Okay, so keeping in line with the uh, electromagnetic induction, we have a pretty fun question. The statement reads, a square loop side length A and total resistance R lies a distance S from an infinite straight wire that carries current I. Now, someone cuts the wire, so I drops to zero. In what direction does this induced current in the square loop flow? And what total charge passes a given point in the loop during the time that the current flows? Okay, this is pretty cool. Let us first set up the current as a piecewise function, since we have, you know, some time later that's greater than one, but, you know, some time alpha. What we say is that the current is running at I, so at zero, it's I. At one over alpha, it's still I, okay? That's why we constructed it like this in a parametric form. But we have one minus alpha T, so if we have, you know, zero or uh, one over alpha, we still get I there for whatever I is, or whatever the initial current is. And then zero elsewhere after that point. All right, so like our diagram suggests, we have a square loop, length A and A, some distance s above a current carrying wire. So we know that uh, the quasi-static approximation for this is just that of a wire, the magnetic field of a wire, which is mu naught i over 2 pi s in the fiat direction. All right, so we say then that the flux, which is the uh, uh, surface integral of the magnetic field, well, if we plug the magnetic field in, we see that in the ds direction, we go from our, we go from, uh, s, right, the distance s, up to the s plus a, which is the top of the loop versus the bottom of the loop. And then horizontally, which we'll call z, we go from 0 to a. So if we plug those in and we change the uh, s to s prime in the field just to denote they're different, now we see that we end up with uh, a flux of mu naught i a over 2 pi ln of s plus a over s. Again, we've kind of seen these things before. So if we're trying to find the uh, change in Q or the uh, total charge, let's again look back to what we did last question and set up the uh, current in a way that we saw for both what its definition is, a dQ dt, and via Ohm's law. And we do that because now we have the EMF, which is related via the change in flux, negative, of course. So we just go ahead and plug it in. Again, we see that the only thing that changes with respect to time is the current. All right, so we see that after we kind of boil it down, we see that the I of the loop, which is dQ dt, well, we see that the time factors cancel here, so we're not really worried about the time. They cancel out in the integration, but what we are worried about is the dQ and the dI. So it says that given that this is the case, if we were to integrate this through again, we see that Q, or excuse me, when we integrate it through, we see that Q and I are just related at Q is related to I via this stuff in the middle, and the stuff in the middle is, at least in magnitude, mu naught A over 2 pi R, ln S plus A over S, all times I. And we just write that compactly. So that's how much charge passes through it. Pretty nice. Again, the time factors cancel, not algebraically, but via the integral. So keep that in mind. I'm just highlighting that so we could save space. Now, if we look at what's happen happening physically, so the field of the wire, which is since the wire current is running to the right, the field at the loop, the square loop, is running out of the page. But we also know that since the wire is being cut, the current's dropping. And since the current's dropping, we know that the field is decreasing. So we have a decreasing field, and we need to account for the negative sign via Lenz's law. So the field of the induced current must point out of the page, too. Since we're decreasing and we have the negative sign, you get two cancels. So we're staying in the same direction there. But now that we know this and we're pointing out of the page, use the right-hand rule to show that now within the loop, uh, the current has to be flowing counterclockwise. So that's pretty cool. I like using this. This is a great example. This will be more fun to see soon as well.